Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna talk about the first 10 things you're gonna to want to buy for your new RV. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. Last week's video, I kinda of went over five things that you had to own basically in order to go camping. Well, this week I wanted to include 10 items that you don't necessarily need, but you're gonna want, and they really make your life a whole lot easier when you're out camping. So let's get it right into it. Item number one, bug zapper. Uh, these things are about $5 at Walmart, or uh, I think they're only like five, six bucks on Amazon too. And they're amazing. It's like a fly swatter, but it's electric. I'm sure a lot of you people already have them. They're amazing. Um, just a little, I think it's AAA batteries inside of it, but these things have saved our lives. Uh, Erica actually wanted me to mention this as a need, not a want, because this is why it's the number one thing on the list. She felt that it was the most important thing to have in your camper, because it's just, it's gonna happen. You're gonna get bugs in and out of the RV when you're opening and closing the door. They can come in through the screens, they can come in through the slides if they really wanted to. So get yourself a good bug zapper. We keep one right here in the living room on this hook, and I have one in the bedroom as well, in case there's one uh, while we're trying to sleep. That way you can sleep with good peace of mind. All right. The second thing on my list of top 10 things is sitting right here. It's my countertop ice maker. This particular one is nothing fancy. Uh, we actually just found it on, I think, Facebook Marketplace at some point. You know, it just has a couple little options for the size ice cubes, but it makes ice extremely fast. Uh, it does a great job keeping up. And uh, we also have a built-in ice maker in the, fr in the freezer, but we hardly ever use it. We use this about 99% of the time for our ice, for our drinks. Uh, and again, it makes it so fast that you can generally, you know, serve your friends and family and it, it'll still keep making ice. So some kind of countertop ice maker. I'm not recommending any particular model because again, I just like to go on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and find something that's cheap and partially used and I know it works. So that's what we did. Number three on the list is a Keurig or really any kind of countertop coffee maker. You know, it's just so much easier you want to make you know, just coffee for just you or just your wife or, you know, whatever the case is, it's a lot easier to make an entire pot of coffee, uh, unless that's your style and you need a whole pot of coffee, but some kind of coffee maker you're gonna want for the RV and you're not gonna wanna have to haul it in and out of your RV and your house and back and forth. So this is why it's number three on our list because this is just for the RV. It stays in here all year round. Also, if you're curious about how we have these things on the counter, um, I just have a little bungee cord right back here that you can see and I hook it to a screw that I have mounted back here across the front all the way over here and here's you can see the edge of the other screw and that bungee cord just sits across there all the way across and you this stuff has not ever fallen it does shift around a little bit but the bungee cord holds it all in so that's how we keep this up on the counter all the time and not have to put it away each time number four on the list portable standalone fan with this little cord uh, we like this uh, tall one it puts out a lot of air again I'm not recommending any particular product here. I'm just saying that some kind of portable standalone fan so you can direct airflow right to you uh, for whether you're sitting down on your recliner or if you're outside, you wanna be able to keep, help keep some bugs off you and just have air movement come across your campsite. Some kind of fan that can do that for you, you're gonna want something. So number four on the list is a good portable standalone fan. Number five on our list a good portable vacuum. Uh, we just bought this Dyson. This is the V8 Animal. We love it. Um, yeah, we found it on Craigslist for very, very cheap. And uh, we do have a built-in central vac in the RV. And we just found that we just weren't using it often because it was just kind of a hassle to get the hose and all the stuff out. It, just, it, it was more of a hassle than it was worth it. So we just didn't really vacuum all that often. And this thing is freaking amazing. It has so much power, it's ridiculous. Um, now again, not trying to recommend uh, a Dyson in particular, but some form of a battery operated portable vacuum so you can clean up, you know, whether it's just your carpeting or if you don't have carpet, you're, you know, there's all sorts of dust and dirt that gets in the RVs. So a good portable vacuum really helps keep the RV clean and we love it. So that's why it's number five on the list. For number six, we're coming into the bathroom. In the shower, you got doo -doo. little uh, shower caddies. These things are awesome. Uh, you know, you can label them shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and they're just little pumps, and it prevents you from having to have all sorts of stuff all over, you know, whether you have it on the floor, or I don't know how 
most normal people have stuff inside their RVs. We love these little shower caddies. Uh, we bought one for each of us. There's one on the opposing wall right in front of me over here. Uh, that's mine and it has all my shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And it just makes things so much easier for travel. These things are stuck to the wall. They don't go anywhere. And uh, they're awesome. We just absolutely love them. And again, you can find that on Amazon. Number seven brings us outside and it's a good toolkit. Now I have a couple different tool kits and different tools that I travel with. Um, I have what I consider overkill as far as tools go, but what you want to get yourself is some kind of just a basic generic tool kit, right? A socket set with wrenches and, you know, pipe wrenches and crescent wrenches and all that kind of stuff. Cause there's going to be repairs you're going to have to make on the road. Not only do I carry my regular tradesman tool kit, so I have all my regular tools here, but I also have a good kit. Like I said, that's all sockets and, uh, wrenches and all that fun stuff as well. I also have a circular saw, um, sawzall, uh, two different drills, no, three drills, no, two drills and an impact, so whatever you want to call it, uh, and also uh, a big flashlight that is a, a DeWalt tool. Um, I, I have way too many tools for any one RVer, but again, I do everything myself. So if you're just out there trying to enjoy camping, just get yourself a basic tools set with some basic wrenches and stuff so you can do some basic repairs on the road if needed. Number eight is a good grill. We have this grill. It is the Coleman Camper Grill. We love this thing. It's, uh, it's pretty portable. It folds pretty flat and goes into our storage. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Um, we really like it because it fits our needs. Uh, it has a little bit of a flat area if you want to do some stuff without the open flame or it has the stuff with the open flame. So it has kind of best of both worlds. Um, I know a lot of people love and preach on the Blackstone. I've not had a Blackstone. I cannot tell you what they're like. I have looked into them and I just decided that for right now, this is more suiting for our camping lifestyle. So we like this one for now. But eventually, as you can start to see, you know, they, they start to rust out and things happen and I'm gonna need to get a new one eventually, maybe before next year's trip, but we'll see how long this lasts for us for now. That is why we like this grill. It folds down pretty flat, rolls right in. We just put it in with everything else and it doesn't really take up a whole lot of space in my opinion. You can stack stuff up on top of it, below it, and it's all good. Number nine on the list is what I'm in right now, this camping chair. Uh, we absolutely love these camping chairs. These are the uh, GCI, I think, uh, road trip rockers. Let me show you what they look like. So these fold all the way down to a regular camping chair uh, style portability, or whatever you want to call it, because some of them just fold in, fold in half. But that's why we like these ones, because they fold all the way down. And as you see, when they're all the way out, they're nice and big and comfortable. And yeah, these are by GCI Outdoors. They're called the Road Trip Rocker. And they're amazing. These little pistons back here are super comfortable. And it's it's my favorite chair that I've ever had while camping. Lastly, number 10 is a battery operated blower. Uh, we particularly have the DeWalt version, but there's so many different versions out there. But you know, this thing is great for blowing off stuff around your campsite. Uh, we use it to blow off the top of the slides, top of the roof, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we really, really like this DeWalt battery operated blower. But again, just any kind of portable battery operated blower to be able to do those kinds of things where you can clean up around your site is a great tool to have. That's it for this week's video. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. We'll see you next time. Bye. If you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit the subscribe. And now I have a plane, plane flying over me. <sighs> if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, okay, one more time. If you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit the subscribe button. For number six, we're taking you into the bathroom. That's it. That's our 10 to our... 
see. I do it all the time. That's it. That's our top 10 things that you're going to want to buy for your new RV. I hope you like it. And again, go ahead and comment below what you, what you think should be in the top 10 list or what's in your top 10 list. 